Hi, and welcome to Skincare by Sydney. I'm Sydney, I'm a dermatology PA and your guide to skincare. So today we are talking about antioxidants. This can also be known as the ABCs of skincare or even we're gonna call it the ABCDEs of skincare. So we're all very familiar with products that have these ingredients in them, but I really wanna break it down because sometimes what happens is you might actually have an overlap of these ingredients, which is totally fine. I just really like for people to know what they're putting on their skin. So we hear this word antioxidants a lot. And so we are very familiar with skin cancer um, and all forms of cancer and how they affect our bodies. So what happens is there are things like the sun, UV rays, pollution, smoking, all of these are gonna break down cells in the body. And so we, these are gonna create things called free radicals. So basically it's a molecule that has an uncharged end. And so I think of it as something that's just kind of like flying around. It's like looking to attach to something. And so that this is where some abnormalities can happen and that leads to skin cancer. So what antioxidants do from the inside, inside from food that we intake or from the outside with products that we're putting on our skin is that it will actually take this molecule that has an uncharged end that's looking for something to attach to it and it kind of like caps it off. And so we're going to prevent any abnormal um, growth from that. So we're talking about this in terms of skin cancer, but with skincare, a lot of the same things that cause skin cancer are also going to cause some of the undesired cosmetic effects from the sun. So to start off, the letter A. So vitamin A um, is what is a retinoid. So we have these topically, we're very familiar with retinol, retinaldehydes, so there's a conversion there to retinoic acid, which is how we use it in our body or how our skin uses it. So. Um, the oral version of it is a pill form and it's called isotretinoin, also known as Accutane. So we all know what vitamin A for the skin is, we've heard of it. Um, vitamin B, this is going to be broken down and there are different types of vitamin B. So B3 is niacinamide, we're very familiar with that in skincare products. Um, B5 is panthenoic acid or sometimes panthenol, the OL ending it means it's an alcohol form. Um, then B12, cobalamin, we can also see it in some skincare products, but not as common as what we're gonna talk about like inside of our body. So vitamin C, we all know this. Ascorbic acid, there's two types of ascorbic acid. L-ascorbic acid is the naturally occurring one. And so that's what we're really looking for in vitamin C products. There are also derivatives of ascorbic acid that aren't going to be as effective, but they're gonna to be tolerated better on like sensitive skin, for example, and they're gonna be more stable. Um, vitamin D, we don't see this in a lot of skincare products. We obviously know that vitamin D is important for skin health. Um, there is, um, a product, the Epiance Intense Defense Serum that I have right here, that is a vitamin C serum, but it also has the five vitamins that you find in our skin, vitamins A, B, C, D, E. And actually the way that we see vitamin D in here is through a shiitake mushroom extract. Um, we do use vitamin D topically to actually treat psoriasis. And so this is um, gonna be in a prescription form. So vitamin D, it composes our skin, but we don't see it a lot in skincare. And then lastly, vitamin E, when you turn your bottle around and look at the ingredient list, this is going to be listed as tocopherol. Um, so vitamin E is just, it's going to moisturize, it's going to um, soothe the skin. It plays really well with vitamin C. Um, and then we, we probably heard, all heard of vitamin E as far as like promoting healing. So what all of these are doing is that they are antioxidants and so they're fighting free radicals and that is going to help with any damage that we have to our skin, particularly from the sun. But then you know, skincare is not all shallow and just talking about um, 
how to look better. It, it is really about skin health and protecting that barrier. And so our skin barrier is made up of these antioxidants naturally. And so it's great to replenish the skin with them. So I want to do a brief overview of just some products because what actually happens is that you're paying more for some products because they have these antioxidants in them, which is awesome. It is totally fine to layer products. But if you really stick to the basic medical grade skincare routine, which is going to have a vitamin C in the morning to treat a serum, and then at night is going to have a retinoid if you're not pregnant or breastfeeding, I can tolerate it. Um, and so that's your vitamin A. So you're really ahead of the game and covering a lot of things. Lastly, if you have a physical sunscreen, meaning it has zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in it, again, you're protecting yourself very well. But I just wanna break down some products to show you. Um, so let's start off with this. So this is a, the Zio Daily Power Defense. This is a moisturizer that is $150. Um, it has vitamin A and, I'm sorry, vitamin E in it. Um, and some vitamin A, it doesn't have any vitamin C, but it has peptides and it has several other antioxidants other than just these vitamins. So um, this is like a really great anti-aging moisturizer, which Zio in general is very wonderful for just skin health overall. Um, so I mentioned this Epiance Intense Defense Serum. This has THD ascorbate in it, which is a derivative of vitamin C, so it's gonna be better for sensitive skin, especially um, if there's rosacea involved or just some like, underlying redness. Um, the other great thing about it is that it's really a niacinamide serum. So niacinamide is the second ingredient, um, and then it has vitamins A through E in it. So this is just overall an anti-aging serum as well. So this is what I'll choose for some skin types, um, whereas for others, you might do vitamin C and then we'll get some of these um, other ingredients in another form, if that makes sense. Um, so speaking of niacinamide, you can see niacinamide in serums. Um, this is the Elastin Restorative Skin Complex, which is really a peptide serum, but it does have niacinamide in it as well. So you'll also find niacinamide in moisturizers, which niacinamide is an ingredient that is wonderful for all skin types. It's going to benefit the skin in so many ways that it's really recommended. And so I always try to get it into a skincare routine at some point, typically moisturizers, unless someone has a specific reason to have it in a different step. So Elta MD UV Clear, meaning it's for breakouts, so clear skin. Um, tinted and non-tinted sunscreen option, but it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. LTMD also has a PM therapy and an AM therapy that has niacinamide in it as well. So speaking of, well, back to this, which the Epiance Intense Defense Serum, which kind of has everything, the THD ascorbate. So there are products that are coming out with vitamin C in them that are not serums, which is which is totally fine. The serum is still gonna be the most potent form. But um, LTMD came out with UV Restore this year, pretty recently, and it has THD ascorbate in it. And then this Revision IntelliShade is one of those products that stand out for revision. And it also has THD ascorbate in it, and it has some peptides. So this is a $75 tinted sunscreen. And so that's what you're paying for, which is, again, totally fine, but sometimes you don't need to spend that much money in every single step because you're already covered. You'll hear that you need to, or sometimes you'll hear that you need to stick to a specific brand and just use all of their products. And the truth is that if you do that, then you're not going to have overlap because it's already planned out for you. But what I really try to do is like use the medical background to say, if you can't spend you know, this much money on every single product, let me analyze your skincare routine so that you're getting what you need, but spending it on the products that are really going to help you most. And honestly, sometimes that means not spending money on products. It means getting in office treatments, which are going to be expensive as well. So Skin Better has something called the Auto Defense Serum. This is a sample. It's not this small, <laughs> but um, this is used in place of like in place of a vitamin C in that 
step in the routine and it has THD ascorbate in it as well along with some other ingredients um, so again these are all wonderful products and they all have their place it's just you don't need to be using all of them and I think sometimes there is this you know you'll see advertise like this is the best product and it's like yes it's great but there are other things that are going to be similar so that's why I don't put all of these um, serums and moisturizers on my face all at once because that's very expensive and it's overlapping so it's not really benefiting um okay I have one more to show you and this is the SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Gel. So B5 is um, pantothenic acid or panthenol, and it's going to help moisturize. And so that's actually what's advertised on here. It says moisturize. And this has a little bit of sodium hyaluronate in it as well. So I hope that this is helpful in understanding how skincare products are using ingredients for good reason, but how skincare is about ingredients and it's not about individual products because you really have to turn them around and look at that active ingredient list to know what you're putting on your skin. And if you, like I said, if you stick to your, the daily routine that I post about all the time, then you are really ahead of the game and you're protecting yourself against all of these environmental factors, including blue light from screens. Um, so that's why a, a skincare routine is so, so important. It's so important for prevention. Um, and it's, it's really important for even prevention of skin cancer, to be quite honest. So we are going to talk more and more about these, um, these ingredients and these vitamins and antioxidants just one at a time, but I wanted to give you an overview so that maybe you don't feel so overwhelmed with some of your products um but if you do i'm here for you and i hope that if you're on youtube you can subscribe below and you'll know when a new video comes out i try to do once per week um but thank you so much for watching all of these end up being so long every time so if you're still here thank you